Many newer routers these days come with this technology called WPS or Wi-Fi Protected Setup. Basically what this does is make it easier to connect your devices to your home network. It usually comes enabled by default. To show you how this might make connecting devices to your router easier, let's look at how you might be used to connecting devices to your router. Typically you would come to your wireless security page, you would select WPA and WPA2 Personal which is recommended, and you'd set a password here. Then you would scan for your network, and then you would type in this password, and you would connect your computer or cell phone to your network that way. WPS allows you to generate this eight-digit code and join your network by entering this eight-digit pin, which in theory is easier to remember and easier to type in on mobile devices. There's also a separate option where you can just simply press a button on your router, and then within two minutes, press a button on your USB network adapter for example and connect your device that way without having to remember any kind of password or anything like that. WPS may make it easier to connect your devices to your network but it definitely has the security flaws that are well known and documented on the internet. Here are just a few examples of articles on the internet that talk about how WPS is vulnerable to brute force attacks and how WPS is actually not recommended for anyone to use. I'll link to all these articles in the description. If you're curious about how someone could actually crack your network when WPS is enabled, HowToGeek actually has an article that goes over how someone could do this very generally. Lifehacker even has a detailed tutorial on how someone could crack your network and anyone can get to this website just by doing a simple search on Google. CERT is an organization established to coordinate response to internet security incidents. They basically report on different vulnerabilities of different technologies and give recommendations on how to get around it or how to fix it. They're actually kind of a big deal in the information technology world. CERT has actually released a vulnerability note noting that WPS has a brute force vulnerability. They note that an attacker within range of the wireless access point may be able to brute force the WPS pin and retrieve the password for the wireless network, change the configuration of access point, or cause a denial of service. They do not presently have a solution for this problem, and their recommendation is actually to disable WPS. So what can you do to get around this WPS being enabled by default and secure your network? You can start by disabling WPS, which on my Archer C7, is just by clicking this button, Disable WPS, on the WPS menu of each network. You have one for your 2.4 GHz network and one for your 5 GHz network. You have to do the same thing. Then, as usual, you want to go to your wireless security settings, again, for both your 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz network, and you want to use WPA2 Personal, and you want to set a secure password. Of course, you want to go back to the normal way of joining your network by just scanning for networks, and then when it asks you for your pre-shared key, you just type in whatever you have set for your pre-shared key in your router. 